lift it right off. Studebaker meet and it'll prove 85 running in the air all day and not even straining. I believe it. It blows cold, hey? Yeah. Oh, you got a magnet side piece. There you go. RW was just showing us how I've been all over this car with my little refrigerator magnet and it sticks on all the rockers, lower panels. I've crawled all underneath it. And this car hadn't had any any rust repair or bondo that RW could find or me either. Real solid example. Good door fit. I don't know what more you could want out of one of these 50s cars. Chrome shows well. No bumpers. Those stainless strips look good. All of the glass looks good. Got a little bit of scratch there I can feel. Not bad. All of the glass seals are good. Look at that pretty two-tone paint. And that's the correct Studebaker colors for the year. I love the pretty Tristar. Yeah. Well, after mid-year, they put it off. Yeah, RW was and telling me that... that eight down... You were telling me that, that Mercedes pitched yeah. a... They didn't like... Mercedes didn't, didn't like it. <laughs> so they only ran this star for middle mid-model year yeah. in 63 or yeah. 53. A little small compressor on it. Big old York compressors, yeah, big piston. Mm hmm. Yeah, it is. Running like a top. Oh, 
off the note. Restored it. Either the second undersea heater on this side. Yeah. And it either runs the water from that side to this side. So this side's not as hot as that side. But you it's still got some heat in the water. second heater on this seat. I'm going to roll it up since we got air. And okay, turn the air on. It blows cold, hey? And yeah, it's cold. And we're going to get up and drop the vent. Oh yeah. Perfect. Pressure gauge is working. We got a amp gauge. Fuel's working. Oil pressure. Speedo's working. Amp gas gauge. Odometer's moving. Yep. I'm sorry to tell you, several years ago, the center main bearing got a little loose. And if these engines have a weak point, that's probably it. Uh, they should have had a five main bearing instead of three main bearing. Well, I was fortunate enough to find a new crankshaft, and so I took it, the parts of the crank and clutch and everything down 
to Wayne Calvert Racing Engines in Denton. Wayne balanced it. And so everything is perfect. Wayne's 90 years old. Still going to the shop every day. Wow, that's awesome. And his grandson his brother is Marvin, and Marvin's boy is Alan, A-L-A-N, and Alan is one of my former students <laughs> back in the 60s. And Alan and his sister ran the business after Marvin, Marvin got killed in a car wreck, pulled out in front of the train there in Denton. And so they ran the business, and they have already gotten rich and retired and sold the business a couple of years ago. So you said you taught in Dallas last? Say it again. You taught in Dallas last? I taught at Long Junior High three years, and I taught at Thomas Jefferson High School out on Walnut Hill three years. In 63. I was at Long from 57 to 60 TJ. So you hold a master's and a doc doctorate degree? Yeah, educational doctorate. EDD. The difference in an educational doctorate and a PhD is I didn't have to take a foreign language. But if your car quits, you'd rather have me than a PhD. I know that's right. <laughs>